Hey, what up, guys? Tell here. In this video, we are going to be talking about three scams in Rocket League and how to avoid them. The first scam we'll talk about is trust trading. The second scam we're going to talk about is price manipulation. The third scam we're going to talk about is color swapping and item swapping. Okay, so the first scam method we're going to talk about is trust trades. Now, trust trades are actually the worst, like, noob scam. It's pretty much you trust someone with an item and they give you better items. So, for this example, I'm going to give this guy a very rare item and he will maybe give me an import or exotic back uh, i'm just going to give him a pair of lime oems yeah he says okay give me a very rare and i'll give you an import so this is usually how they run the scams you give them a very rare they give you an import back uh so you'll give them a, the very rare uh they'll then take your very rare and then they'll invite you straight back to a trade after they will now give you an item of higher rarity so this guy uh, has given me a sunray which is an import so, ten, so you just gave them a very rare they give you an input back uh which in some people's minds means that they're trustable uh which is completely not true this scammer has then manipulated me into thinking that they're trustable to do another trade which they will then scam me and then take my item for the third part of the trade they will usually ask you for a better item like that this guy's asked me for a black market so i'm gonna give him a, a, a tune and then you will think, oh, this guy's going to give me a painted octane or a painted standard or a painted black market out of this trade. Uh, because they've done that before with the very rare and the import. So you then accept the trade. They get your black market and then they leave the party. Uh, and well done, you have just been scammed. Uh, so one way to counter this or one way to not get yourself scammed is just not to do trust trading. Uh, if you find any people... Even if they're the legit trust traders, just don't trade with them. You don't want to get yourself involved in trust trading because you will just get scammed. I've just lost a very rare and a black market. And all I've got to show for it is one Sunray boost. Some scammers will do it in one trade. Some scammers will do it in multiple trades uh, just to try and boost their legitness. Uh, but any trust trades in Rocket League, just don't do any. The second scam we're going to show off is a price manipulation scam. Uh, players will often say a price is more or less than it actually is to get a quick scam trade uh, in this scenario this guy is interested in my sky blue 20xx i'm going to ask him how much it's worth he says it's one of those cheaper black markets and he says it's worth around 100 but what we can do in this scenario is a really cool discord server that you can join that will tell you the price of any item on any platform on rocket league I'm going to quickly show you guys that uh, so you can stop getting scammed like this. The Discord is called Rocket League Insider. I will place a link in the comments in the description for you guys. So you guys can use this tool as well. Uh, but there's price check for PC, PSN, Xbox and Switch. Uh, so we are going to check the price of that 20XX we just put up. So we do exclamation mark price and then sky blue 20XX. The guy said it was worth 100 credits. But by checking the price, we can we now see it's worth at least 800 to 1,000 credits. So this guy is now going to offer me 110 credits. Obviously, I know that is worth 800 to 100, but I'm going to tell him that he's a scammer. So if anyone does try to do that to you, always check the price of the items you're trading or buying. So this guy is obviously trying to deny the fact that he tried to scam me. Uh, and at this point, you can just leave the trade and leave the party because you know that guy is a scammer. Okay, so this is the scenario but reversed. Uh, this time I want to buy an item off this guy. Uh, and last time you wanted to buy an item off me. He's just going to make a load of like random stuff up. Trying to hype up what an item he has. Try and sell it to me for a, a more expensive price. Okay, so this guy has put up a grey Honda Civic. And he tells me it looks almost the same as Titanium White. So it's worth around 500. So I'm going to ask him 500 credits. And he says, yeah. Uh, so what we can then do again is go and check the price of that item on our, on Rocket League Insider uh, to make sure we are completely scam proof. So right here, we have just checked the price of all the Honda Civics. Uh, this guy said the one he offered was a grey one and it's worth 500 credits. We can now check that it's only worth 150 to 250 credits. So this guy is trying to scam us and get us to overpay for an item that's only worth 100 to 250 I get him 500 credits for it. We can then go back and say it's only worth 150 to 250. This guy's also going to make up loads of rubbish. 
uh, trying to get you to buy the item for a cheap price. Uh, because that's what scammers do. And obviously at this point you can just leave uh, because you know that they are of course a scammer. Quick tip when, when checking RR Insider, make sure you check the right platform and always try to get min or mid price for items. I know people do underpay sometimes, so people will buy a tune that's maybe worth 100 credits or like 80 credits or an orange octane that's worth 250 to 350, they usually buy it for 200. Uh, these aren't really scammers in a way, uh, but people trying to get items for, for cheaper prices. If someone's trying to buy or sell an item for a significantly large amount of credits, uh, they are most likely trying to scam you or price manipulate the item. Okay, so the last scam we're going to talk about in this video is item swapping and color swapping. This was really, really common back in the day. Let's die down a bit now, but people still do it to scam. Uh, for this scenario, I need to buy a pink tune from this guy. Uh, I'm going to offer 300 credits because that is how much the pink tune is worth. He's going to put the pink tune up. As you guys can see, that is a regular pink tune. And what he's going to do here is he's going to try and make my focus go away. So he's going to ask how your day was going. And usually you just type uh, like doing all right or it was all right. And right there, they've switched the pink tune for a regular tune. Without you noticing, they've switched the item. They've tried to bring your focus into something else. Without asking you how your day was, that just removes your focus from the trade. And you're just going to accept because you think it's a normal trade. You've looked down at your keyboard or you've typed something on your controller. You haven't seen the item swap or the color switch. And you're going to be paying 300 credits for a regular tune instead of your pink tune. And you can just say scammer and then leave. People do this quite often with painted Fenix, painted Octanes, painted standards, anything certifiable or coloured that they can easily scam with, uh, they will do. They, they can also do it with black market blueprints and black markets. <laughs> if you're trying to offer for a black market, say I want to offer for a pink tune, 300 credits, I want to offer 300 credits. They'll put one pink tune and 23 black market blueprints into the trade. And without me noticing, they're going to try and put 24 black market blueprints in. Uh, by taking the tune out and putting another blueprint in and hopefully i then pay him 300 credits for the black market blueprints and i've just been scammed if you guys have been scammed in rocket league before uh comment how you got scammed and what you got scammed for if you guys did enjoy this video and it was helpful please drop a like and subscribe to the channel i also do rocket league live streams where i give away painted octanes painted fenix black markets and some credits so if you guys do want to come to those make sure to turn on notifications and I hope to see some of you guys in a few of those soon. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.